Human beings are those who are born with souls. And any of those other things, they're born soulless. They don't got no DNA of creativity in their souls. Because they don't got no souls. They're soulless. We're okay, human we beings. And that's what I'm saying. I'm a human being. I have a soul. God gave it to me. And it's a gift of creativity. I'm a co-creator with God. And anybody that doesn't have that soul is born soulless. Okay. They don't right. have no consciousness. They don't have no compassion. They don't have no love. They rather throw a woman and her children in the streets and put a dog in a house. That's a soulless being. Okay. And that's we're gonna go, wow. We're gonna we're gonna take another call in here because we're running out on the live show and we're gonna try to go into uh, the archives. So we uh, come in like I think we got like five minutes left. So we're gonna go to uh, Sister uh, Soraya here, area code five zero two. Shalom, sister, you on the show? Are you there? Hello, oh, my key over there. How you doing? Playing, you know that. I already know. Um, Sister Sophia, it seems to be like uh, you have an understanding that the Most High can use something that is bad to to bring the light to people, to give understanding and, and enlightenment, and, and you know, to bring you out of darkness, to get you out from up under uh, this this foolery that's going on all around of us, you know. That's and true. I see that you understand that, but I think that uh, you also should understand that uh, the Most High uses even bigger circumstances rather than just copyright and, and judges and, um, you know, the, the movie industry and all of that kind of stuff. You know, no, we don't have uh, races. We weren't categorized by the Most High in races. You're absolutely right about that. But what he did do was categorize us as nations. And you may not know, but as a black person here in America, if your ancestors were brought over here on slave ships for almost 400 years ago, you are in one of these uh, nations that have not fallen from the face of the earth yet. They are still here. They have their, uh, you know, progenitors and, and, and our people that are here now. You know, our forefathers were Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, we are the Israelites, and the curses were put upon us, even if you feel like that may be foolery. It is what it is, and it's that No, listen, so listen. What's your name? What is your name? My name is Soraya. Okay, Soraya, sweetie. Who put the black people on the ships and when they got sent to America? Who, who put them on there? Who put them on the, who put them on the slave ships? The other nation who against us, who were not of us, and who we were... No, 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 stop. 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 Tell tell me who, no, no, stop. Tell me who put them on the ship. Who put the, the people, the black people, on that ship? Who put them on that ship and sent them to America? But who put them on the ship? You know what? It was put into place by the Most High in order to teach us a lesson. I ask you a question. I need you to answer that question. It's very important. Who put the black people on the ship? It was put into place as a curse onto us by no, the Most High. So listen, who put them on the ship? Who were the people that put them on the ship? Name the person. Who were they that put them on the ship? That's very important that you answer that. You know what? It was put in. I think that you don't want to listen to what I'm trying to say to you. No, I heard what you said. No, listen. I heard everything you said, and it's very important that you answer that question because that's a very important question. It's the same question when the hit when when Hitler and the Germans and the Jews. Who do you think gave the Germans the money to destroy the Jews in the Holocaust? Who gave who gave the Germans the money to destroy the Jews in the Holocaust? Do you know that the Jews financed that on their own as a plot to I take? Know, that's right, number. But who gave the Germans the, the money to finance the Holocaust? Who gave them the money? Answer the question. The Jews did. All right, that's the Jews did. Now, who put the black people on the ship that got sent to America as slaves? Who put them on the ship? I think that the thing here, sisters, is this. The, the answer is actually the, who we call the Gentiles or who the world looks at as, as white people physically. No, the, the black people system. didn't put them on the ship. The white people did not put those Africans on that ship. Who put them on the ship? It's actually sold by... Uh, other natives of that area, but 
to actually That's right. The, the Zulus and the most powerful black tribes put the weaker tribes, uh, their enemies, on the ship. Okay, but you understand seas. why they were there in the first place and a place of it doesn't matter. It doesn't nation. matter because you know no. what? A black, black man brings his own, a black man brings his own curses. So listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. A black man brings his own curses because a black man is the one that put the black other weaker blacks on that ship. But it wasn't the white man because the white man couldn't do that. Listen. Black. The white man couldn't even deal with that kind of power in Africa, sweetie. They not deal not with that kind of power. So let's, let's put the truth where it is. Let's put the truth where it is. Some of the most powerful tribes, like the Zulus, where the white people couldn't even oh. handle their guns. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. They couldn't even handle Zulus. Oh, because it seems like we're, we're, we're getting into a little uh, um, um, argument here, but the fact no, is we're that... We're getting into an argument... <laughs> She needs to understand history. She needs to she needs to understand the truth of history. If you're gonna learn something, then you need to learn the bad side as well as the good because they're one. You can't separate the bad from the good. God says everything is polarity. There is no duality. The good and bad are one. And if you accept the good, you must also accept the bad. If you look for the truth, then you got to see both sides of the story in order for you to grow. In order for you to evolve, then you must know the truth of the bad side. There is no one side to any story. But see, actually, when we look at the whole slave trade, I mean, it wasn't just the natives of that land. It was the Arabs. It was everybody. Everybody had a hand in our actual enslavement. Uh, yeah, uh, the, we Arabs were black. the Arabs are black men. The Arabs are black. The original ones. The, well, still, but different nations of Arabs and different nations of Europeans actually... Now and listen, listen to me. Listen to me. The white listen. skin is mutated. The white skin is mutated. Three-fourths of the world was... So the world was black, and it goes back to being black again. That's what it, out of Out of darkness came light. Darkness was first. Read the Bible. Out of darkness came light. What we're gonna do real quick, we gotta we gotta take a real quick break. Uh we're gonna come back to the archives. The live show has ended, so we're gonna come back, we're gonna take some more calls here, but we have to go to break. Hey, uh thank you, uh, sister Shariah for calling in and we'll be right back after this.